Good morning, second graders. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Hope everybody is uh, doing well and hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. Hopefully you were able to get a chance to go outside uh, yesterday and, and be active and uh, and enjoy that nice weather that we had yesterday. Um, <clears throat> thank you uh, for, to all the people who came on um, our Google Meet yesterday um, for Mrs. Duffy's lesson. I know I kind of uh, announced it last minute, so if you weren't able to get onto it, that is okay. Okay, um, but thank you to all those who did uh, come on and were able to to come and, and participate in her lesson. Um, I did get a question about um, whether or not everybody has to, to come on, um, and the answer is I would I would love it if everybody were able to come on and participate in her lessons. I know she would really love it too. Um, she takes some time out of her day to come see us, so I think that it would be uh, very respectful if, if all of us were able to come on and um, again, participate in her lesson and just kind of uh, uh, do it with her. But um, obviously, if you can't, then that is totally fine. Um, but yes, I would like it if everybody were able to kind of come on and, and participate in Mrs. Duffy's lesson. Um, because the more the merrier, the, the, the more people we have, the better uh, the kind of the conversation is and the better the lesson goes. So um, so again, thank you to all those who uh, were able to come on um, last minute and uh, and participate. And uh, please try to try to come on uh, next week when she comes next Tuesday at 1030 as well. So so definitely try and come on in and make sure you uh, participate and attend in that. Um, so anyway, um, today's a new day, and I just wanted to kind of go over some of the stuff that we're going to be doing today. Um, some things uh, I just wanted to kind of clear up for you, so that way you kind of understand what you have to do. Um, so I am going to present my screen to you, and um, this is going to be, of course, the you know the start where we start, and then our morning message. So make sure you read that. Um, if you work uh, with Mrs. Scully, make sure you check uh, the Google Classroom for any assignments from her. And then we go into our phonics um, lesson for today. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be kind of reviewing um, sound, uh, soft sounds. So we're going to be talking about uh, what uh, C soft sounds, uh, what sounds they make, and then the G um, and kind of what that sound makes. So. Um, so just take a minute to, to look this over and kind of um, look at the little, it almost looks kind of like a poem over here. Um, so definitely check that out. And then um, what you're going to do is there's also some tongue twisters over here. So what you can do is you can read the tongue twisters. And it's very important that you kind of read all of the examples and kind of get a good understanding of how um, these people made tongue twisters for soft C and G. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and click this Google Doc and you're gonna make your own tongue twisters for soft C and G sounds okay so so definitely take a look at these examples because they'll definitely help you uh, come up with your own all right and then we'll have a brain break and then we'll do reading today which will be done um, with Mrs. Zillahi so she'll kind of uh, do her lesson on this on this video here these are the slides that she's going to be using to teach her lesson and then what's going to happen after that is you're going to click on Raz Kids and you're going to go sign into Raz Kids and you're going to read a story um, about Little Red Riding Hood and you're gonna read a new version um, of the story and that's gonna be part of the reading lesson and then once you are done reading the story on Raz Kids you're gonna click this link down here to another Google Doc and you're gonna write about the lesson that you learned from the story Little Red Riding Hood so what was the lesson or the message of the story what was something that you learned um, through this story Okay, so that's what you're going to do after you read the story. So watch Mrs. Zillahi's lesson first, then go to Raz Kids and read Little Red Riding Hood, and then um, click the Google Docs link and just write a little bit about what you think the, the lesson in the story was. Okay? Of course, for reading also, don't forget to do your 20 minutes of Lexia and your 10 minutes of independent reading. Then we have snack and movement, so make sure you take that time to kind of recharge yourself and, and eat your snack and do a little bit of movement break, get your wiggles out, because then we're going to be going into writing. And writing um, is actually going to be our last, uh, not our last poem, but our last poem kind of like in this 
um, little topic that we've been doing. So today you're going to write another poem uh, based on that painting or drawing that you did uh, last week and you've been kind of writing poems about uh, so far. And this time you're going to focus on the ideas that come to you when you look at your artwork. So for example, yesterday I kind of gave you the example of a picture of fireworks, right? So my picture makes me think of the 4th of July. I'm going to write a poem about the 4th of July because fireworks are a really, really big thing on the 4th of July. So whenever I see fireworks, I think about the 4th of July. And so then that's where you can kind of get the idea for your poem. So this poem, for example, says fireworks, red, white, and blue, raspberry, raspberry pie, family fun, burgers. So that's like a poem that kind of reminds me about 4th of July and kind of all the things that I think about when I think about the 4th of July. You know, so red, white, and blue, like the flag, right? Raspberry pie is one of my favorite desserts on 4th of July. Um, we always do something together with my family um, on 4th of July. We have hamburgers on the 4th of July. So that's just an example of how um, you kind of look at your picture and think about, okay, these are fireworks. What do fireworks remind me of? They remind me of 4th of July. I'm going to write a poem about the 4th of July. So that's what I kind of want you to do today. I want you to use your picture and really think about what your picture makes you think of and then write a poem about it. So what does your picture make you think of? What does it remind you of? That's what we're going to be doing for writing today. Okay? And then we have another brain break, so make sure you do that. Math is uh, simple again today, so just watch that one video um, that... Uh, that I have there for you and then uh, go on and sign on to Think Central and do the assignment for 10.2 okay and then we're getting towards the end of our day so we'll be another brain break and then science will be another uh, Pebble Go article that will also have kind of a fun activity that you can do here's the sign in for Pebble Go if you need it okay today you will learn more about seeds as you read on Pebble Go so read along with the article then complete the share um, what you know activity. If you do not have a printer, do it on a separate piece of paper. So you can do that activity um, if you would like, okay? Choice time, so you can pick a uh, choice to do. Flow movement break, so get, um, you know, kind of find like a nice calm place to do this one um, and relax yourselves. And then we end our day with specials. So today's special is library. So visit uh, Mrs. Stewart's uh, library website for any assignments and then there's also a read aloud down here so make sure you do that one as well okay and then that's our day so um, that's everything that you need to know about for today and all the activities that you kind of need to do for today so if you have any questions you guys know where you can uh, find me and ask those questions you can either come on to office hours starting at 10 o'clock today or you can uh, you can email me um, and I'll again always attach my email address to uh, this post so um, so those are places that you can find me if you need help and uh, I hope everybody has a really really great day and I am excited to see all of the uh, great work that you're gonna do today okay everybody have a great day bye